What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ronky Dog Cops Zero Tales Transformers Toy Finder Story GSTF2 for sure. It's a new show in this episode. This is the show where we try to answer the question Is there a difficult to transform? And today we're also doing Zero Tales Toy Finder Season 11, episode number 27. What we're looking at this guy, which is Transformers Beast Wars Man Terror. And if you don't get it yet from that name, he is a praying mantis. Praying mantis. So it's it's a very nice, yep, it's a kind of insect. It looks like this. It looks almost looks like it's praying. Uh, well, I guess he puts his, his, his thingy stingers together, whatever those are. Um, so more or less that's what he looks like. Very cool alt mode. And now, you know, this being the show where you try to answer the question, is it difficult to transform? We'll try to transform it starting at 8.12. And just uh, before that happens, so this is the show, um, basically the answer to the question is a yes, only if you break apart, as in permanently break it, such as in super glue or something like that. Or if we need to pause and look at instructions and YouTube videos to find out how to transform him. That being said, I found that these Beast Wars figures are generally easy to transform, not difficult to transform at all. Maybe it might take some time for some of them, but for the most part, we've been able to transform them. So, let's go wait for 812. Um, actually, so, so yeah, I mean, just look at that. It looks very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. And one, there you go. So let's try to transform him now. Um, so if it, so basically this is gonna be the robot legs it's curled up right there. Just gonna spread it out, spread it out, and rotate. Flip out, flip out. Position, rotate. There you go. This is lower body and spread this out and actually we're gonna and then we're gonna drop this down but then so uh, basically that's when I realized this is actually missing a head so the head is supposed to be in there and it doesn't even have a head very fortunate for the most part that's that's how he's gonna look like uh, we're gonna put these in front of him This is, if it doesn't look, if it isn't yet obvious, it's going to be a shoulder we can have to rotate and snap it in there. There's your shoulder. So these are also his um, robot arms or claws or whatever. I feel like there's something missing in here. Mm, that's another unfortunate part. I don't, I don't think we have anything that belongs to him from our little part slot here. So this is all that we've got. I guess I, 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 yeah, I'm torn between keeping this guy in robot mode and alt mode. As an in alt mode, he's gonna be occupying a lot of space. So probably not that I'll keep him in robot mode. But more or less, that's how he's supposed to look. Sans the head. Um, let me see if I can go grab a head that I can use. Give me a second. Okay, well, the one head that I thought I had available to use on this guy is not actually compatible with this guy. I need a head that has its own ball peg, and that one doesn't have its own ball peg. So, this is so unfortunate. I mean, it looks so nice. I mean, it already looks nice without the, um, the head. What more with the head? So, what, what I am going to do now is I will... No, I, I really don't have anything here to do with this head. What I'm going to do now is I will see if I can make a alt mode for him, a robot mode using the insect head. But I doubt it. So drop these down, drop these down, throw these out, throw these out. Ooh, there you go. Okay, and then what? Nope, I guess not. I, I, I really. Uh, no, well, I mean, that's the closest we can do, I guess. Hey, I'm a robot! You have to take me seriously. Hey! Well, that's... Anyway, what can we do? This is a garage. Hashtag garage sale. Can we find 
It's not really coming garage sale. It's from an online seller who got it from Value Village and it's pretty good for getting something thrifty. I'm gonna maybe scar the channels to ask the groups, Facebook groups and um, whatnot. Ask if they have a head for this guy's spare head. Uh, but that being said, that is... Oh wait, let, let's transform him back into his um, robot mode. We'll keep him in robot mode just because he will take up less space in robot mode. Okay, like that, and like that, and like that. Nice, nice. And then rotate. And more or less, that is it. Hold that arm, and now this arm. And more or less, that is it for that arm. There he is again in robot. It just, it just looks really nice. The proportions are really nice. He can also spread his wings and fly. Maybe we could pretend that's his head or his eyes. Okay, okay. No. No. okay. I, I guess that's about it. We really can't do much about it. Um, that being said, that is about it for this episode of Rocky.com. We have Transformers to Finders. Or GSTF to Detroit. It's a new show. Once again, this is a show where we try to answer the question, is it difficult to transform? And as expected, Transformers Beast Wars Man Terror. Transformers from a praying mantis to a robot, of course. And the answer to that question is a no. It's easy to transform. Unfortunately, the, our copy that we have, again, this is Garage Sale, Toy Fine Season 11, episode number 27. Garage Sale, Toy Fine. It's not really from Garage Sale, but it's basically very similar. We got it from a thrift store, ultimately. Very cheap. It didn't come with a head, but we could pretend those are the eyes, and that's there you go. That being said, that's about it for this episode. We hope you liked this episode. If you did, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Also, please follow us on our social media channels. We're on Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I cannot wait to share this video with your friends and family, lovers, and everybody you know, including your enemies, because they might start to like you again as I'll this prime to And until next time, Protocons!